what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Hot Toys Spider-Man No Way Home Spider-Man Friend and Neighborhood Spider-Man 6 scale Deluxe Exclusive Version. Now this is based on the uh, Spider-Man No Way Home film which I do have on a Blu-ray. Very awesome Spider-Man film. I did get to see this like a few times in the theater. I even saw like the extended one when they re-released it and it was like longer, had like more footage in it. But yeah, uh, I'm definitely excited about having this. And I had this like on pre-order for like a while and mine's just not coming. Cause I know like other people have already gotten theirs, but mine's been like on pre-order for like a while and it's just not coming to me. And I got it some uh, Sideshow collectibles too as well. So yeah, I'm definitely excited about having this. And again, I have like the exclusive deluxe version which has like, it's basically has everything you can, you know, when you think about it. But yeah, I'm definitely excited about it, so I'm gonna get into this uh, right now. Now, as you can see, this is a very large box too as well, like it's very large. And I think the, uh, the artwork on it, from my opinion, this is like the best of the uh, Spider-Man Spider -Man No Way Home, like six scale figures that we have, you know. I think this is like the best like art for this, you know, as far as like the Green Goblin, Electro, and Dr. Pusco. I like this particular boss art the best out of all of them. So you know this is like the Tobey Maguire like, uh, Spider-Man too. So this is how the box look. And again, mine is like the deluxe version, exclusive too, by the way. But there's like an image of Spider-Man right there. It's like a, a pumpkin bomb, like a goblin. And you know, like the octopus tentacles and all that, like the uh, multiverse thing, electros, electricity. So it's, it's like a lot of stuff going on on it. Oh, yeah, and it does say it right there, too, like a sideshow exclusive. And of course, it does say Friend and Neighborhood Spider Man, because the name is a particular version of uh, Spider Man that I have, which is like the Tobey Maguire version. Because I know they had like, the Andrew Garfield version, which I wanted so bad, but I missed out on it. To how I still have my eyes on trying to pick up that particular version, you know. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna see how this actually works. I think this slides off too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can slide this on and off. This is how uh, the, the, the figure looks like on the inside, like with its accessories. And again, I do have like the uh, Sandman, like display stand too as well which I'm kind of curious about see so, yeah, uh, this is how this looks and this is like the uh, the size of the box which has like, that multiverse stuff even on the back of kind of like how the uh, other ones like the goblin like an you know, octopus you know natural like their boxes work so y'all can get into this right now <laughs> now I want to talk about the instruction mail that comes with the uh, friendly neighborhood spider-man six scale figure <laughs> Yes, it's how it, uh, it looks. So you see how you uh, assemble it and so on. So I'll be sure to get a good look at this. Okay. I want to check out the. Uh, that's one of the things I might have a rant about while I'm going through my review. But this was like the. Uh, it's the Sandman, like Diorama Sand. Again, this comes with like the, uh, the deluxe version of uh, this particular figure. If you got the standard release of Spider-Man, you wouldn't have got this uh, Sandman and Diorama. I think you would just got like a stand. And I've been hearing about this too. I must admit, I already do think this is just so awesome looking. Oh, it really does look so cool. Oh wow, it really does look amazing. Whoa. I hear that it's even flakes too, if I'm not mistaken. And it's already kind of already assembled too. I know there's places where you can put like attached like uh, accessories or so on. I think this can even turn too, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can like turn like Sandman's like face like that. So it is like articulated too, as you can see. Ah, oh, that is just awesome, like sculpting on this. And it has like this like rough, like a, like a, I guess you could say like sandpaper type feel to it too as well. But I'm gonna get a better look at it. I see it still has some like cotton stuff that I gotta take off too as well. 
But as you can see, it's side kind of, it looks like up close. It has like this hand with like a pieces of like a rock and stuff all on it. Looks pretty cool. It doesn't look like this is articulated or anything. I know underneath this is how it looks too. Let's see, I'm going to take this on out too as well. So I'm going to see if I can do that. Now on the inside, you can see this right here. You can also see, I think this is where uh, Spider-Man's like a stand thing. Like, you know, the thing that holds him up. Dynamic pole will hold him up. I think it goes right there. That's one of the things I might rant about with this particular uh, piece. But again, I think it's done very well. It, this is just beautiful looking. <laughs> now I want to talk about the accessories that, that attaches to this uh, diorama stand too as well. Now, you get these two like warning signs, which I believe can be put anywhere. And you do get like two of them. So this is how these look. Like these barricade type things. That's how they look on the, on the back too. So we do have two of them. Then you get like a, if you get the exclusive version, which I do have, like from Sideshow, it comes with like this octopus, dot octopus tentacle, even like a car right here too, that you can attach to it. Just like the figure almost, because you know it has all that articulation in it, because you know you can bend these and so on. But of course, you know, you would take this, and I think, yeah, this would plug in right here, if I'm not mistaken. Then you know there's a spot in here somewhere where you can uh, put Dr. Octopus's tentacle on it. So I'm going to see if I can uh, locate that particular piece too as well. Another thing I want to touch on too is Dr. Octopus's tentacle. Of course, you know, once you have that on there, and again, it's like articulated, you know, you can bend these and so on. Just like if you had, you know, the Dr. Octopus finger, six scale figure, it, it has like the uh, bendable like uh, arm, so there's like a bendable wire here. So I think this is pretty cool. Now I found the location of the uh, the particular piece where you would put the uh, tentacle at. You would take this right here. It's kind of hard to see it too, but you would pull that on off, and there's like the hole where you would uh, stick a uh, dot dot to put this uh, tentacle at right there. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, put it on in here. See how easy it goes. I might just, I doubt if it's really enough secure enough. I wonder if you have to screw it in. But it is in there. And of course, you know, you just take this and you can just bend it like that. So I, I must admit that is pretty cool. <laughs> and once you have that particular piece assembled, as you can see, I got the tentacle. I must admit that really is awesome looking. You can take like the uh, warning signs, like these barricade things, and you can really put them in anywhere you want, like in here. I think from what I'm hearing. They don't give you like really no set place to do it because you can have them like just on the ground like they're falling or stuff but yeah they can go like pretty much anywhere in here the, uh, the barricades give an example the party only give you like two of them two now up next i want to talk about the uh dynamic like uh pole for spider-man this is for hold him now this is where i kind of have like a rant with this particular piece and I also have like the whole complete thing, which is like the deluxe exclusive. It does sound like hot toys should at least include like a separate stand if we wanted Spider-Man himself, just like on a stand. But from what I'm, I'm saying, you know, apparently he about to always be like uh, attached to this. So I think that was kind of like, kind of like, you know, like kind of bad for my opinion. So that was just like a rant on my part. But I still think it's cool having this because if you got the standard one, you would get like the stand. But like they should just still include like the regular stand with this particular. Uh, piece from my opinion you know it's just like a round of mine but of course you know you just take this and you screw it on in here because you know you always have to pop the top off I can yo and then you know you just put this on here like this and of course you know even this like bends and so on however you want I know I use to tighten these on up too like them screws in there I used to take like a screwdriver and tighten those on up so I'm going to see. And there's also like a place for uh, putting that uh, the dynamic pole, which I already had showed earlier. It's right here inside like a uh, Sandman's, uh, right on, on his, his jaw, like almost. It's kind of hard to see it. So yeah, you would take this and uh, stick it in there. So I'm going to try it. 
a knob for the finger himself. As you can see, this is rather large. I'm taking them on out right now. Let me see. And he has all this like plastic on him and stuff. You know, as usual. Okay. So look, I'm gonna take the hands off too. Probably. Yeah, there's been like a lot of like complaints about this particular piece too as well. So I'm gonna see what I, what I can think of it. Okay, there's the six scale friend and neighborhood Spider-Man figure from Hot Toys. I'm gonna measure him, see how tall he is. And yeah, he's like right under 12 inches. So I'm gonna talk about like the articulation and the likeness to how he looks like on the film as well. <laughs> so yeah, now. I think the figure does look uh, awesome, and there are like a lot of things that I would even I wouldn't even notice about this particular figure. But there are certain things too I kind of think kind of like you know kind of off with it, but it still is like a pretty uh, solid figure. And now we have like a a new six scale like Tobey Maguire based uh, Spider Man figure too as well. Cause from what I'm hearing, Hot Toys only has like uh, the Spider Man three license. That's why we have that upcoming like black suit Spider Man figure on the way, which I'm definitely excited about too. Cause you know that was on part three. Yeah, here's like the, the figure in hand. Now there's like also like a like a lot of stuff that's is in this particular figure that I'm hearing about. Like you can see like where the uh, the seam line right there. It's kind of hard to see it. I'm trying to get the light on the right. You can see right there like where they like, sealed it together. And even like the way of uh, like the uh, the webbing right here, like the raised weapon around like his mask. This right here, if I'm not mistaken, should be like a look. I think it's a little lower, but they have it wrapped up between his eyes. Like the way the webbing is on the Spider-Man's face. I also think this is kind of off too. I'm trying to remember did it really look like this in the film. I need to look at it again. Like you can see, like his neck is like cut like a separate piece in there right there. I think that's like, it looks like that's kind of off too from my opinion. That's one of the things I think is kind of like, you know, looks kind of bad about the figure because you can see it right there on the back too as well. But of course, this is how his suit looks. It's got the spider on it. Be black on the back as well. It does have that dark bluish look too. I must admit, that this is kind of off too, somewhat like the way the hands are. But it's still like a, a solid figure because they're not like a with this like fabric type material. It's actually like a, a plastic like hand that's right here. Now. Uh, as you can see, he has like ratchet type joints, so his arms can go up to like, like that angle. You can also split too. And you do have to be careful when you're bending these because they do get the wrinkles in there, which stays in there too. And Spider Man's legs are also going to bend like this. And of course, he does have a double bend. Looks like it's kind of tight too. You can pivot that in and out like that too, as well. He can turn and stuff. It can go up and down. He, he can't really have quenched on the like it too much. I didn't want to force it. And he does have like a bend like in the arm too as well. Like a double bend so you can't get that much range of motion in him. And again he has ratcheted joints as you can hear. And there's his hand which can turn of course, the head can turn left and right. Can look up, look down, you can tilt it. So it's like I don't think it's on the ball joint though. Got the hand about his head. There's been some rants about that too, and some complaints. But I think this is still like a solid figure, and you know it's like a Tobey Maguire based Spider-Man. So there's no reason why this was kind of cool. But I can't see like where that seam line is up there. Like when you look at it in person, you can't see it pretty real good. I was trying to get to show up on my, my camera, but I don't know if I got the right amount of light on it because I didn't want to brighten it out, like bleach it out, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's still like a pretty uh, solid figure though. I think it's still like cool looking. <laughs> Next, I want to talk about like, the uh, the mask, like the accessories. We'll go through the accessories that come with him. This here is like the mask, you know, that you kind of like Spider Man is holding in his hand. Which like some of the other six scale. Spider-Man figures from Hot Toys do come with, like you can have it like in his hand. I always thought that's pretty cool, like he took it off. 
Then you also have like the, uh, I guess one of the things that really made this stand out, we have the uh, Peter Parker head scope, or you could say like the uh, Tobey Maguire face scope, which does look very good too as well. As you can see it, I think the likeness to Tobey Maguire is done pretty good on this. He has like an aged look now, because I mean some people think that it still looks like the young Tobey Maguire, but he does look kind of like aged somewhat. Special off from the side angles and so on and it does like look like him. So I think that's pretty cool. I also wanted to show how this this looks too. I've been hearing some like rants about this. Like people don't like how it look. Cause you know we usually have like the ball joint there or something like that. But this is how it looks, you know, when you want to uh, decide to take it and put it on so let's see if I how it works. Yeah, it looks like it goes right on on too. Okay. I can see I don't have it on all the way, but yeah, that's how it looks when you have it on. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, there's no question I'd be displaying it like this at times. Again, I think that's kind of off how you can see that so so visibly. That's like I gotta give a good, let a good look at the movie too, see if that really was there like that. But I think this is a, it's a pretty solid figure. I think it's awesome. So as you can see, I put the Spider-Man up inside the uh, the Sam and the Roman stand. Or display thing. Now, like I said, that's gonna be one of the problems with that. He would have to always be like on this, which I still think is okay, but it'd been still cool. We could just have like a stand that we could have put him on. But I still think it's pretty cool because now you can have him like swinging all around this, or like he's jumping off sand and shooting webs at him and so on. So I think all that stuff is it's, it's, it's okay, you know. But now, now I want to talk about like the uh, alternate hands that come with Spider Man because he has like a total of uh, two, four, six, eight. I think 12 hands, yeah, 12 hands in total if you count the two that's on him. But he has like uh, 10 separate hands. You have like two uh, web shooting hands right here. As you can see, these are sculpted in plastic, which is another thing I think is kind of odd. Then you also have uh, two like, uh, I guess you could say he's kind of like gripping hands or like climbing hands. Then he has like uh, this particular hand right here, it's just like open. Then he has, uh, well he has two of those to be exact. Then he has like a solid fist, well actually this is like a web swing I think hand, the one with the, uh, that web that has like the swinging grip on it, I think this is for that, you can see like an opening in it right there. Then you have a uh, this probably is for holding like the uh, Sandman cure device because it's like a gripping hand. Then you have uh, these two hands right here, like, like the mean things, like where he's with uh, like Andrew and uh, Tom. And here, I, I think where he's pointing the finger, like you. <laughs> you. So I think that's pretty cool. Then you have like the, uh, the web shooting things too, as well, which I'm very familiar with because we usually get this with a lot of Spider Man like figures from Hot Toys. And of course, you know, you can take this this particular piece off. Then, you know, you put that uh, that particular slot on, you know, slot it in. You can add your web effect to it. Yeah, next sure you get like your usual assortment of uh, like webs that Spider-Man used to come with. Well, the Hot Toys, six scale Spider-Man figures come with. I have so many of these, I don't have to worry about breaking these or losing these. These are like a web shooting, like, well, this way like the blast effect, like he's shooting out a well. Because as usual, you get two of those. Then you got just two uh, straight webs right here. Then you get like a uh, just swinging type web. These be like the usual ones he comes with. And then he has like this particular web right here, which has like, you know, the grip for the hand. We can put the hand on it. Then he has like a funnel web too, as well. Then you also get like a... Uh, some pegs too as usual that Hot Toys usually provides us with like if you break them or anything then up next you get the uh, elastic this is the uh, the Sandman Cure, that's what they call it, the Cure you get this right here too as well it's not articulated or anything I don't think but this is how it looks okay that's pretty cool I want to compare 
the Spider-Man No Way Home Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man Six Scale Figure from Hot Toys with some of my other Spider-Man No Way Home figures from Hot Toys. <laughs> okay, here's the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man with the uh, Spider-Man Far From Home upgraded suit six scale figure, like the Tom Holland version of Spider-Man. So as you can see, there's like their their height difference. They're like they're about the same. It does like a uh, Tom zone is like a little taller than uh, the Tobey Maguire zone, if I'm not mistaken. Like in Spider-Man, like slightly though. But it's just how they look. And I know they have like the uh, battle damage. Uh, I think they called it the battle one from uh, No Way Home. Like it's this particular super. It's like dirty looking and stuff. I must admit, I do think that was awesome, and I would like to have that. One, you know, <laughs> but I know they have that particular version. You know, from uh, No Way Home too as well. <laughs> And then next here is the Green Goblin from uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. There, as you can see. I guess this really, uh, it should be really the, uh, the Toby one. He should be next to it, so you can set the, the size in him. Let me see. These really the two that kind of really go together. Yeah, except the, uh, now of course he's taller if you go on by like his helmet, like the uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, these are like, some awesome figures too. <laughs> and then up next here's a uh, Dr. Octopus. I left him on his stand too, as you can see with them. This guy, he kind of compares to all of them. The Dr. Octopus figure. And yeah, that's another one, you know, if you, if you think about it, that really goes with uh, Dr. Dr. Puss 2. <laughs> As you can see, here's the uh, six scale Electro figure from Spider-Man No Way Home 2 as well, Tad. So yeah, I think these are awesome uh, figures, some more uh, like hot toys. I would definitely recommend, you know, like, have them if you can like get them, you know. <laughs> Okay, there's the Hot Toys, Spider-Man No Way Home, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man 6 scale figure, and this is the deluxe exclusive version, which I do have, because there were three different versions of this particular piece, because you have like the standard one, which just had like a, I think, just like a Spider-Man, like with a couple of accessories, like in a stand, too, like a display stand, but then the deluxe version would have had like the uh, Sandman diorama, which I have right here, but if you had the exclusive version, it also came with like an extra Doc Ock tentacle that you could put on like the uh, Sandman diorama thing. Now I must admit I do have a few rants for this particular figure. I think like uh, that we should at least have got like a separate stand, like a display stand that we could have put Spider-Man on just by himself. Because now if you just want to display him, he will have to always have like this around him if you want like a secure uh, attachment to him, like something that, that keeps him from falling over. You actually have to always have like this uh, Sandman diorama stand. Unless you can get like a separate stand, so that's one of the rents I do have in a particular piece. But I think it's a pretty solid figure, and it's amazing that some of like the inaccuracies of this particular piece, too, from what I'm hearing, like from people, like some of the things that were kind of off or weren't really like completely like, accurate to how they really are in the film. So I think that's pretty uh, interesting and awesome, too, as well. But I think it's still a pretty cool uh, figure, and I think the likeness of uh, Tobey Maguire on like the alternate head scope, or you could say Peter Parker. I think that is done pretty good. I, that's another one I was hearing that they don't think it looked like it was uh, old enough, you know, like like an aged uh, Peter Parker or Tobey Maguire. It still looks like kind of the more younger uh, Tobey Maguire figure from what I'm, people are saying from what I'm hearing. But yeah, I still think it's like, like the Sandman, the Iron Woman thing. It is like a beautiful, like, awesome piece. And it is articulated too as well. I think that's pretty cool. And apparently, uh, I think Hot Toys only has, from what I'm hearing, like the uh, Spider-Man 3 license. That's why we have like I guess like the Sandman. Well, this is based on No Way Home, but I think that's why we have like the Black Suit Spider-Man on the way too as well, because you know that was from Part Three. So I think that's why they only can do figures based on Part Three. So I, it'd be cool if we can get like a Sandman figure. I think that'd be so awesome, like an updated Sam, like, like a Sandman figure. Period. I don't think they ever done like a Sandman, like a six scale figure, like based on Part Three. I think that'd be cool if they can do that. But I think this is definitely worth having, you know. And I got mine from Sideshow Collectibles, like I mentioned before. And again, it's just based on this particular film, Spider-Man No Way Home, which I do have right on Blu-ray. 
a very awesome Spider-Man film. I think easily one of the best Spider-Man films. I did get to see this, like, I think three times in the theaters, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. So, this is the Hot Toys, Spider-Man, No Way Home, six-scale, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man figure. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe, too, as well.